We're going to turn to the scriptures this morning. And if you want to follow along, it will be on the overhead, but of course I encourage you to open up your Bibles. Psalm 32. And if you read Psalm 32, Psalm of David. And then if you want to mark your Bibles as well, we're going to turn again to 1 John chapter 1. Verses 5 to chapter 2, verse 2. It's going to be 1 John 1, verse 5 to chapter 2, 2, and of course we're going to begin at Psalms 32. Psalm 32. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away, though my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped, as in the heat of summer. Then acknowledged my sin to you, and or then I acknowledged my sin to you, and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgression to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful prayer to you, all the faithful pray to you while you may be found. Surely the rising of the mighty waters will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with the songs of deliverance. I will instruct you, instruct you and teach you in the way you sh should go. I will counsel you, you with my loving eye on you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. Many are the walls of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the one who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad in him. Be glad in the earth, sorry. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad. Be righteous. Sing all you who are upright in heart. And let's turn to 1 John chapter 1. Beginning to read in verse 5. This is the message we have heard from him and declared to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son purifies us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar, and his word is not in us. My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. May God richly bless the reading of his word this morning. 